We live our house is overlooking Homefield Park. We've always done, we've always been involved in community and voluntary sector stuff. From when we lived in Manchester, we set up a community project which was about bringing people together from the private rented housing, from the housing estates, from the sheltered accommodation to talk about shared history and public spaces and community assets. And that was around the canal in Manchester. But m overlooking such an incredible park, we just thought we have to be involved in making good things happen here as well. And we knew that there was already a group doing litter picks and Halloween days and things like that. So, um, yeah, I just got in touch with them and ended up over time being roped in as the chair, um, which has been really good fun. And it's a lovely group of people that are really passionate about the park. And the park has so much history. And there's, I think the people of Worthing know about the history of the park, but I can see that knowledge getting lost. And that feels sad to me. I want people to be able to know that stuff. And I think we enjoy what we have in our communities more when we understand the story, which is, you know, why we're keen to be involved in this project as well. So that's partly the Homefield Park stuff is about celebrating, championing the park's history, but also making it as good a park as it can be for the people because... I mean, even in the short time you've been here, it's changed quite a bit, especially the reopening of the tennis courts, which were yeah. moribund for a long time. Yeah, and that was all work that happened before we were here and thanks to the com commitment and hard work of all of the other people that have been involved in the project for a long, long time. So, yeah, I'm kind of, you know, working with some really passionate people and I'm aware that, you know, we're newcomers to the area as well. So it's not about us coming in and saying, oh, we think we know everything and we want things to change in a certain way. Um, you know, there's a lot for us to learn about how do people feel about the park and what does it mean obviously there's some incredible stories that people have around growing up about around the park um that we just want to try and champion that so people know about it and and treasure it really um and it's just an amazing community asset particularly during covid you know somewhere that people can go to and there's an amazing um array of you know flora fauna animals trees birds in the park right in the center of worthing and i feel like it's not appreciated as much as it could be it's kind of at times you see that some people have a sense that it's got a bad reputation you know you have one or two things that might happen in their incidents criminal behavior which you get in any public place in a, in a town like this um but those things can stick to the reputation of a park and i find that quite sad because it's such an incredible place to be so yeah. Well, it's got a lot tidier now. Um, there was a situation, I'm sure it was in the 80s, when um, the council wanted to take a lump of it to put a car park on for the Bowers people. And then that really brought the people together around here to protect the park. And I think, I think since then, um, it's probably people are taking a lot more interest in the park. It was after the, they lost trees in the storm, the great storm, 1987. So that long row of trees between the, the um, football, like the football pitches and the hospital, they're new, new, 1990. Um, and of course there's the children's playgrounds. And I hope I've had something to do with the skateboard crowd going there because where I worked on the seafront they were on at the hotel they were always skidding in and out of our um, out of the gardens in the front and um, Which hotel was that? well it, it was the early but at the time when I was there it was Crown Agents Management Training Centre and I managed it at the weekend somebody had to do it great job um, but you know we uh, I spoke to um, the owner of the hotel and I said these kids need somewhere you know, can't you get, can't the council get together and make them a proper skate park somewhere? Whether they'll go there is a different matter. They might still prefer to be down at the seafront. But that was, and it was after that that they put the skateboard, to, the skate park in. Yeah, yeah we're, we're there often. Well, yeah. what's, what's actually particularly through this year, which has obviously been, you know, living through lockdown and parenting a very young child, having like so many green spaces around us has been amazing, mm. but particularly Homefield Park. 
um, Homefield Park, Beach House Park, this whole strip actually, um, when we were allowed out for our one hour walks at the beginning or whatever it was, it was lovely to be able to go through all those, you know, different areas and we find that when people come and stay with us, you know, they always want to go down to the beach or whatever and it's it's a nice walk to go through all those parks it makes you feel proud of the place that you live in and yeah. you know i think uh, particularly with a home field park um you know the the little community space that they've got in there with a with a pizza oven and the allotment that yeah, you can go and do really your piece nice. you know we've been invited to a few evenings at there which has been fantastic you know that again you're just meeting people who again are, are a really diverse group of people that we've met through there um and very much feels like, you know, this is a community space that, that we have been welcomed into. Yeah. So we have used those facilities. Um, similarly, we've used, um, you know, the, as we said, the leisure centre at the bottom of the street. We use that. Um, we've used um, the beach constantly, the beach constantly, even um, just, you know, public services like the library actually um, has uh, yeah. we used the library more since we've been in Worthing than we ever did in Brighton yeah. Um, so, yeah. so yeah using those public services has been great okay. we, we love the tennis courts that have just been done and the little table tennis courts um, because there was going to be a, there was a programme where they were trying to redevelop the whole area weren't they and they were going to put a cafe in and um, but obviously there wasn't money for that but what they have done I think is fabulous it's getting really well used enjoy a game of tennis there after you spill down from upstairs? Yeah. I live just the other side of Homefield Park, so I, I go through Homefield Park every day. Um, yeah, I mean, my nephew and his friend and my sister are down there now using the skate park. And um, yeah, and my, ooh, yeah, we I've always used Homefield Park, always. Like the park, the playground as a, as a child and you know, Running up and down, running up and down the the hill, you know the the little hill that's yeah. in there. Um, yeah, um, when I was a teenager, kicking a ball around in there, and you know, I played I played my first um, match for a proper team at Homefield Park. You know, all of the, all of that sort of. Yeah. How has uh, sex changed in your lifetime? Um, or in what way? I mean. It used to have toilets in it. <laughs> I remember it used to have toilets. It doesn't have toilets now. Um, probably it's it's changed the same way that everything else has changed in terms of the the um, uh, the pastimes that people have. You know, like the skate park has sprung up. I remember when I was a teenager being on like a skate park down by the seafront which was just sort of metal metal uh, ramps and things like that and a friend of mine went onto a, one of the skate ramps and the skate ramp slipped out from underneath him and he fell back and broke his arm and to have something like that that's not going to move you know people still might break their arms people break their arms skating you know um, I think you know they've overhauled the tennis courts this, this year and it looks all looks good it's convenient to have the, the space there. Uh, it's got really like slightly trees, uh, or one tree in particular, it's a special tree. Oh, yeah, the yeah. tree with the staircase. <laughs> yeah, it's the just a fun tree that you like to climb up. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the children's playground needs a bit of work, but, um, my, but it's not the only one. Yeah. Though, so close to us think, as well. So. Yeah, we like to go to Victoria Park and uh, Homefield. Homefield's Home. a little bit geared for the older children I think yeah for, you know the playground itself mm. um, um I find it a little bit dog orientated which I get a bit frustrated about um you know well, people the, getting dogs off the dogs lead. mess is more of an oh, issue here than right. in Brighton <laughs> that I do think that that is a case here yeah. I've noticed <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> If it's a culture thing or if it's just one individual, I'm not sure. Just... Um, but yeah, um, but it's nice to have the greenery and, you know. Yeah, it's nice to have a It's lovely to have places to walk to and through. Well, I, I, actually, I've seen a real positive change with Homefield Park in the last, probably the last year, I would say. 
I mean, there's been a lot of a bad press about Homefield Park, and there's certainly been a lot it's of difficulties. A, yeah, it's not been unjustified. No, is it? no, it hasn't. I, no, and, and working in school, obviously, you know, we 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 know what's going on, and we you know we have links with, um, you know, uh, with the police, etc., with what's going on. But um, I I think uh, there's a lot more. There's a since lockdown, a lot more families use Homefield Park which has been lovely to see. The hospital staff have always used it at lunchtime, so that's really nice. Um, uh, the tennis courts are really well used now, used by dog walkers, and the skate, the skate park is really popular, and our young, not our youngest now, but one of our grandchildren goes over there for um, skate club on a Saturday, a Saturday morning. So I can, I, can see, I can see positive changes in Homefield Park at the moment. Um, do you remember what Homefield Park was like? Like, was it different to what it is now? It was much bigger because where the hospital is, that was built when I was about 12, I think. So the park used to go right the way where the hospital is and there were bowling greens up there. Wow, that seems that, wow. Must have been like a holiday up there. Homefield Park was a way bigger park. Homefield was ginormous, it sounds. Alright, so the Homefield Park was way bigger, who knew? And the hospital wasn't there. It was lake and bowls. I mean, big difference.